problem they gave us the mass masses of the two blocks which are the same let's call it big M hold on big M and they gave the masses of the two ropes which are also the same let's call that little M and they gave you the acceleration upwards a I like to redraw it like this we have block a with this force going up and then the mass of rope number one here, and then block B, and then mass of rope number two, and so on. So we have different tensions. There's tension number one here, tension number two here, tension number three here, and tension number four here. So the four questions they ask you are, a, this force, B, this tension, C, this tension, and D, this tension. So really that's what we're looking for. So let's start drawing free body diagrams. First for block A, we have a big M because it's a block, G downward, we have the big force upward, and we have tension one downward. For rope one, the mass of rope one, we have, that's this guy right here, we have little mg because it's a rope that has a little mass, we have tension one going up and tension two going down. For block B, we have, that's this guy here, so we see we have tension one going, tension two going up, tension three going down, but let's not forget mg, which is big mg, because this is a block. And then lastly, for rope two, we have tension three going up, tension four to going down, and also little mg, little m, because this is a rope, right? So that's what's happening in all the pre-body diagrams. So if we start with this one, we'll say F, which we're looking for, minus T1 minus big MG is equal to big M A. And we realize that we can't solve anything in this problem without the acceleration. So to do the acceleration, I think it would be easier to make a completely new picture that instead of all this detail, just, let's just say there's one blob, and it has the mass of everything. Two blocks, so that's 2m, plus two ropes, that's 2 little m. And it's being pulled up with the force f. So this is the very, very not detailed picture of that. And its free body diagram would look like this. f up, 2m plus 2m, G going down, and so then you would have F minus 2M plus 2MG equals 2M plus 2MA. And since we know F and we know both M's, we can find A. Then once we find A, we put that in here. We know F, we know both we know this M, so we can find T1. So now pretend we have T1. That's now answer B. Then from the next free body diagram, we can write another equation. T1 minus T2 minus a little mg is going to be equal to a little m a. So now since we have T1, we can put that in there and find T2. And then the last thing we have to find is T3. That's in this diagram. T2 minus T3 minus a big MG is equal to a big MA. So if this T2 that we just found, we stick that in here and we can find T3 and we're done.